Good day everyone. We will discuss on login synchronization across all ways on availability group replicas in this video. Let's get started. We will be having uh, two replicas, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 for this demo. JBS AG1 and uh, JBS AG2 are um, um, uh, synchronous replicas. And what we'll try to do is like as of now, JBS AG1 is primary and JBS AG2 is secondary. So what happens is like whenever a failover happens from uh, uh, JBS AG1 to JBS AG2, there is high possibility some of the logins present in uh, JBS AG1 uh, will be missing on JBS AG2 or vice versa. For example, when JBS AG2 is primary and we add have the, some uh, new logins to AG2, there is high possibility uh, we might miss that in JPS AG1. Uh, so this can happen on um, each of um, the replicas. For example, right now it is a, a, a two uh, a database server um, always on availability group. For example, if you have more than two, let's say like three or four replicas, then there is high possibility uh, we might miss um, uh, login creation on uh, one of the secondary replica. That can um, uh, cause a big issue when uh, always on availability group fails over to that particular node. So to to resolve this, what we have done is like uh, we have written a uh, custom uh, script that basically will run across um, all the nodes. Like uh, what we'll do is like uh, we'll create a job called login synchronization on all the four uh, nodes. That is uh, all the four nodes or how many uh, how many nodes that we have in the always on availability group. In our case, right now we have uh, two nodes, JVS AG1 and JVS AG2. So what we'll do is like uh, uh, the script that I'm going to show you in this video, we can create that script as a job on uh, JVS AG1 and JVS AG2 and allow it to run uh, every one hour or once in a day uh, depending upon um, the requirement. And what it basically does is like uh, if the script runs on the primary replica, then uh, it uh, gracefully uh, comes out uh, without doing anything and updates us like uh, the script cannot be run on a primary replica. But if it is going to be running on a secondary replica, what it basically does is like it connects to the primary replica through a link server and then uh, checks for uh, any new logins that are created on the primary replica and then that gets created on the secondary replica. The only thing that we need to um, uh, note on this particular thing is like the solution just adds the missing log logins on the secondary replicas, but will not drop logins on the secondary replica that are not present on the primary. It is just going to be uh, um, uh, um, uh, logins that are not present will be created, but will not be dropping anything. So the script that I'll be uh, using here, uh, before that, let's uh, look at um, uh, always on dashboard. So JVS AG1 is the primary replica, JVS AG2 is the secondary replica, and it is in uh, synchronous commit and we have an automatic failover. So uh, if you look at the script, so right now um, we are on uh, JBS AG1, which is your uh, primary replica. And uh, what we have to do is like uh, before uh, proceeding further, we need to uh, put in our uh, um, uh, listener name uh, in this particular thing. This one, uh, we basically have to change the listener name uh, here. And once that is done, uh, let's execute this query. And if you run it, it basically tells like since JBS AG1 is our primary replica, it basically tells like script cannot run on primary replica. So the script doesn't run on primary replica. So now let's run the same query on uh, secondary replica, which is uh, JBS AG2. So I have changed the listener name to JBS APP. So before running this, let's look at the uh, logins here. Uh, on the primary, we have close to 15 logins. Let's refresh it, 15 logins. And then if you look at the secondary replica, we have close to 14 logins, yep. So uh, if we look at this one uh, and this one on the primary replica, these two logins, I don't see that in the secondary replica. Finance and test login is not in the secondary replica. If you see here, finance and uh, test is not the JBS wiki slash test is there, but uh, an SQL login called test and uh, finance is uh, not present here. So now if you see here, uh, 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 th these two logins, finance and test is in JBS AG1, but um, uh, it is not in uh, JBS AG2, so finance and test. So what we'll do is like, let's try running the script and see if it, it gets created. 
so it is uh, showing us completed so what we'll do is like we will uh, check this out and see if finance and test login is created or not so yep if you see here finance and test login is created so look at the time it is created 1 10 p.m uh, 1 10 p.m today so if you can see here it is same as uh, what uh, the, the time that login is created so this way uh, we will be able to keep the logins um, um, uh, synchronized between primary and secondary. The prerequisites, as I told you earlier, you need to create an, uh, a link server uh, for this uh, script to work fine. So on JBS AG1, uh, we have created JBS AG2, and likewise in JBS AG2, we have created a link server to uh, JBS AG1. So let's consider we have three replicas. So let's consider we have three replicas, JBS AG1, AG2, and AG3. In that case, what you have to do is like, you need to schedule the script across all the three replicas, JBS AG1, AG2, and AG3. But as far as the link servers are concerned, uh, you, uh, for JBS AG1, you will have to create link server to JBS AG2 and JBS AG3. And for JBS AG2, you will have to create the link server to uh, JBS AG1 and a JBS AG3. And then for uh, database server JBS AG3, you will have to create link server to uh, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 for this script to work properly. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.